I am beyond exhausted. And most of you guys know I'm still not 100% with my, far from 100% with my health, dealing with the, the liver related issues, not too happy with the eye surgery and everything. So I haven't been wanting to film as much content. And on top of that, I have continuous legal issues and shadow banning on all the social media. I am not having a good time. And I just want to let you guys know that I do appreciate the continued support, you know, despite me not doing as much content, despite all this negative stuff happening. And hopefully you guys can really help me and continue the support until we're in a better spot. I can't imagine it's going to be more than a year, year and a half. So uh, what was the saying? Light at the end of the tunnel. So just got to stick it out a little longer. Some of you might not be aware of this situation because all the videos were taken down, not by my choice. And I was banned for one week on YouTube for basically defending myself. I made a few distasteful jokes, but look, I didn't even get to say what I wanted. All right. Imagine if that happened. Uh, so I guess we'll have to keep this 100% factual and I will not disclose any, you know, personal information that is not available on social media or like the public domain. I want to keep this reasonably brief. So if you guys have any questions, just leave a comment down below and hopefully the people that saw those videos will be able to answer them. Uh, but to sum it up, this kid, Jake Levy, completely copied my best bar and has been selling it for over six months now identical, like carbon copy, exactly like T for T recipe, marketing, flavors, every single thing. I've uh, been selling those bars since November of last year at almost double the price of my best bar. Uh, it was called Way Better Bar, uh, now actually rebranded to the Jacob Bar. Oh, he's so creative. Uh, probably because he found out about the lawsuit and consulted with a lawyer and that's what the lawyer recommended. Now my best bars are around $3 each and he was selling these bars, still selling these bars for around $5 per bar. But these people in the club, and I can't name them for obvious reasons without being censored, they control all social media platforms. And the reason he's able to do this because I'm simply shadow banned and forgotten about while he sells the exact same product I've been selling for years and years and years at double the price. It doesn't make sense from any market or logical perspective. You know, how is he able to copy a product you've been selling for years, sell for double the price, make more money than you've ever had selling the product and no one cares. Oh, that's how, that's how this world works, unfortunately. And these evil people, banned me for explaining this on social media last time. Uh, so we filed a lawsuit back in December of last year. Uh, Tufano v. Levy, case 3 colon 23 CV 02106. Uh, so to sum it up, I've been arguing the case jurisdiction with a federal judge for almost six months. The jurisdiction was proven in the first filing of the complaint. All residences and domiciles of all parties involved in the case are clear. There, there's, no, there's no doubt at all. But the judge is saying, oh, that's not adequate. And to my understanding, this is basically these people protecting each other. It, before I filed this lawsuit, I thought to myself, hmm, I wonder how they're going to screw me over and protect themselves this time. And well, I found out because this, all these papers here, all this paperwork, all these motions I've had to file, he hasn't even been summoned yet. Normally, normally when you file a legal proceeding, when you sue someone, one of the first things that happens is they receive the complaint. They get served with papers. Oh, you've been sued. They have to respond. That hasn't even happened yet. Six months of me arguing jurisdiction with a federal judge. They basically, it's, it's comical. Now, I had to speak to several lawyers over the past few months uh, for some other stuff. And when I mentioned this casually to them, they were kind of like sketched out. It seemed unusual. They never really heard about a federal judge arguing the jurisdiction for so long because usually it's a very cut and dry yes or no thing. And now you know, if you aren't in the club, 
Doesn't matter what you do on social media. Doesn't matter if you, you know, file an official lawsuit in the literal federal courthouse. They're just going to screw you because they think they deserve more than everyone else. Now, if I actually hired a lawyer who are all in the club and spent tens of thousands of dollars, they might have played me, you know, done the charades a little bit, pretended like they were going to do something. But since I'm pro se, since I've been screwed enough by these jerk offs to figure out how to do this myself and I'm not giving them any money. They're not playing ball at all. They don't want anything to do with me. And you can read through all the motions and filings on Pacer if you want to read like, like what if you want to read what these papers actually say. Now, I've made about 15 filings, and again, kid hasn't even received the summons yet. It's it's so it's so it's asinine, and I've been arguing with this judge for six months while he has been selling these bars. He is still active in business, selling these bars while I'm arguing with this judge. It's, it's disgusting. Now, reading the full complaint and the motions would just take too much time. It'd be like a one hour long video, but I will list the dates and what I did on those dates to give you guys a context of the whole situation. Again, you can read these in full on, on Pacer if you have, a, I think you might need a membership though. Uh, so the lawsuit was filed December 20th of last year shortly after we filed a preliminary injunction, which is basically asking the judge for immediate action to get him to stop selling the product because it's damaging my business, uh, which has been completely ignored by the way, the preliminary injunction. January 17th, about one month later, magistrate judge Schwab argues against the jurisdiction. So there's the magistrate judge, which to my understanding is kind of like an assistant judge um, that, can handle some aspects of the case. One week later, after the magistrate judge says jurisdiction is no good, I refile everything, make the jurisdiction statement a little clearer, and I also filed a motion to disqualify, which uh, is basically asking the court to get rid of the judge because I thought, and I, I mean, I think this is truthful, I think the judge was being a little harsh and unreasonable with the jurisdiction. So I said, look, if this is how this case is going to go off the bat and the judge is being this unreasonable, I want to see if I can get a different judge. Um, so then February 2nd, another week later, the main judge, uh, uh, Maliki Mannion, I think, denied the motion to disqualify the magistrate judge. Go figure. So then on February 6th, the magistrate judge Schwab made jurisdiction arguments again. So basically, it, and it doesn't make sense because... I said this jurisdiction clear uh, and they're, they're just repeating themselves and I'm giving them the same answer and it doesn't really make much sense to me uh, because they're asking, oh, where does this person live? I'm telling them where the person lives and they're like, uh, it, just nonsense. So I responded one week later, February 13th, again, being really, I made it even more specific, clarifying the jurisdiction, which I mean, how much more am I going to say it? You know, what else is there to say? You know, there's no like other known places where this kid lives. We have proof of I've delivered product to his house. We have proof of where he's operating the business. Like it doesn't make any sense. So then on February 22nd, they dismissed my complaint and made me amend it. So they wanted me to fix it and file it again. So a week after that, February 28th, I amended the complaint and refiled everything. Then one month, they make me wait a month, March 26th. Magistrate Judge Schwab does the same thing, arguing the jurisdiction of the case. And at this point, I'm like, well, it's uh, this doesn't make any sense whatsoever. They're obviously just not going to take the case. They're protecting this kid. I'm completely screwed. I'm never going to get any recourse for this. Um, so then uh, I was waiting for the judge to do so. I thought the main judge was going to do something, but he didn't. So then I waited a few weeks. Um, April 10th, I responded to, so when that judge did the jurisdiction arguments again, I, I get to respond to that. So I responded and said, look, I've proven the jurisdiction beyond a reasonable doubt. Like, what do you want me to hire a private investigator to follow him around? Like, what do you want me to do? That's unreasonable. That's not what you have. That's not required for the court. Like the evidence I provided for where he lives was perfectly reasonable. 
And then I, then I put in that, then the last thing I filed, I don't know if I have it here, but I think I said something along the lines of, look, the purpose of the court is to find, you know, a reasonable solution between parties. And I was explaining to them, if you're really so unsure about the jurisdiction, which I have proven, I'm sure we can have Jake Levy come into the court and tell us where he lives. Okay. This is, this is beyond, beyond ridiculous. Um, so now it's May, it's May 15th. They haven't responded yet. It's been over a month. I don't know what they're waiting for. Um, I, I paid for some in service once and then I had issues with the judge. So I don't want to pay to have him served again. Uh, I'm not going to pay another $500 to have him serve the papers. So I'm going to have to file. And this is why I'm making this video. Maybe this goes public. Maybe someone higher up sees this. Maybe, maybe they get their act together a little bit. But now all I can really do is I, I can ask the judge, hey, what's going on? At this point, because, because he's changed the business name, because all that stuff, I have to amend the complaint again and refile it, which is a little more work on my end. So I'm going to have to refile everything and explain, hey, look, now he's operating. He changed the business name. He's trying to pretend like it's just completely ridiculous. So I don't really know what to do. Uh, I've spent a decent amount of money and a lot of time on these filings. I'm tired of driving to this godforsaken courthouse in Scranton. <laughs> and uh, it's upsetting because this kid, and it says it on his website right now. If you go to his website, um, get Jacob, I think it's getjacob.com. It's ridiculous. The point is he's sold out of the bar. So he's selling a lot of this product every month, making a lot of money. And the judge is sitting there twiddling his thumbs. They're probably laughing at me in their lodge. Uh, pretty clear what's going on here. I'm not going to spell it out. I've basically done everything I can. And I mean, am I going to am I going to keep doing this? Am I going to keep filing motions and amending the complaint and getting them to do something? I don't know. I really don't know. I don't think I've said anything on this video that they can take it down for. Everything is available on the case record. Um, and I try not to care that much, but you know, the whole reason I keep going and doing this is because I'm, I'm genuinely here to help people. And uh, most health and nutrition influencers say that everyone says the same nonsense. And then they go to Costco and show you what to buy at Costco. So, uh, uh, yeah, I just... I'm just ready to get off this godforsaken planet if it's going to be this difficult to help people because, you know, you, you can have good intentions and try to do the right thing. And I, I can't imagine ever treating someone uh, like these people have treated me. It is, it is despicable. It is evil. It is parasitic. I could go on and on and on. But, uh, you know, it's getting to the point where I'm like, it, is this even worth it? What's the point? Because you guys know and you've seen... You know, when I get some money, when I get some support, the, the things that I've done with my business and in, in the span that I've done it, I can't name one other person that has had as many creative ideas, uh, as many, especially in the health and nutrition related space. Um, any, anything you guys see related to like nutrient density, animal foods, the animal based diet, most of the grass fed carnivore stuff, there, there's literally hundreds, if not thousands of influencers right now that are basically carbon copies of the things I've been talking about on YouTube years and years ago. So to say that anyone else has had much of an influence, what, what am I getting at here? Uh, the point is they've made a lot of money off of my ideas and they've done nothing with that money besides pad their bank accounts and, and for their own selfish needs. There, there's nothing good that will ever come out of supporting these people or giving them money. And that's proven fact. They only care about each other and they only support each other. And their goal is to steal as much money from you as possible. It's like a game to them, you know? Yeah, I don't really care at this point. Uh, it'd be nice if the judge was just upfront and honest and be like, dude, we don't like you. He's our friend. Stop wasting your time. So in, until they do that, maybe I guess I'll file, uh, I'll file the other complaint. Who knows? Probably, my guess is they'll just dismiss the case. My guess is, that, which is nonsense. Like, like, imagine this, like, I'll, I'll leave you guys with this. What's two plus two? And I say four. And they, they pretend they didn't hear me and they ask me again, what's two plus two? And I say four. And they're like, huh? 
what's two plus two? Four, right? And then, then they say, oh no, sorry, you failed, this, you failed the math test. You failed, you're out, you're out of the math competition. That's what I, that's what I feel like is gonna happen here. I think they're just gonna say, uh, that's my, that would be my guess. Oh, plaintiff failed to prove jurisdiction, case dismissed. Like, it's...